Welcome to Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton's FAC and JTAC class. In this presentation, you will learn how to schedule, occupy, and utilize TACP areas aboard Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. This class will take approximately 20 minutes of your time. Please note that the slides will advance automatically and allow you to follow along with the accompanying handouts. Should you need to make face-to-face -face contact with us at Range Operations Division, you'll find us at the Base Air Station, Building 2399, Room 209. For phone contact, several phone numbers have been listed on this slide. They include the Range Control Officer, the Range Safety Specialists, the Long Rifle Firing Desk, the Operations Officer, and Range Scheduling. For submissions of TARS, overlays, fact brief sheets, or any other scheduling questions, use the email address shown to submit them. In order to be certified as a FAC or JTAC aboard Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, you must show proof of successful completion of a FAC or JTAC school, complete the Camp Pendleton RSO OIC class, and complete the Camp Pendleton FAC JTAC class. Additionally, Prior to going hot on any TACP event, an inspector must conduct a face-to-face -face briefing with the FAC and or JTAC in order to verify the Aviation Ordnance Impact Line, HAs, and BPs in the impact area. Note that this face-to-face -face must occur prior to sunset. At no time will the Aviation Ordnance Impact Area Line, HAs, or BPs be verified by an inspector during hours of darkness or low visibility, such as fog or low clouds. The FAC JTAC certification is good for two years from the date issued. The unit must ensure that all safety personnel are present in accordance with the level of activity or risk that is taking place. For example, if you are only controlling MAG-39 aircraft in daylight VMC conditions and are utilizing talk-ons, then only a, a Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton qualified FAC JTAC need be present. If you are controlling aircraft utilizing mortars to mark, then the marking unit would need to provide a fire support coordinator, an OIC, an RSO, and a FAC JTAC would need to be present. If you are controlling aircraft using a laser as the mark, then you would need to provide a FAC JTAC and an LSSO. For standard TACP events, the FAC brief sheet must be turned in for approval no later than 14 working days prior to the event. For non-standard TACP events, a briefing must be conducted with the range control officer no later than 14 working days prior to the event. Please note that the FAC brief sheet needs to be submitted prior to this briefing. In both cases, all facilities must be scheduled in RIFMIS prior to submitting FAC brief sheets or conducting your brief with the Range Control Officer. R2503A and B are available from 0600 to 2359 daily and can be used from 2400 to 0600 if requested at least five working days prior to the event. The Whiskey and Zulu impact areas fall within the R2503B airspace. R2503C is for high angle artillery live fire only and will not be exclusively scheduled for TACP events. If you are planning a TACP event with tactics that would require additional airspace outside of what the R2503A and B allow for and require 2503D, then R2503D must be scheduled at least 35 days prior to your event. Note that there are only 5 days per quarter, totaling to 20 days annually, that this can occur. The Zulu priority days can only be scheduled for the first, second, and third Wednesday and Thursday of each month. The Whiskey priority times are Monday through Friday from 1400 to 1700 and 2000 to 2300 only. All days and times that fall outside of those specified are priority times for ground units firing into the Zulu and Whiskey impact areas.
Please note that all air priority times and days are lost once you are inside seven days from the event. The following slide depicts the altitudes associated with special use airspace. This is a 3D depiction of the special use airspace for Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. R2503A surface to 2000 feet MSL. R2503B surface to 15000 feet MSL. R2503C 15,000 to 27,000 feet MSL. R2503D, 2,000 to 11,000 feet MSL. Please note that CFA-1 is no longer in use. This slide depicts the Class D and Class E airspace utilized when flight operations are active at Marine Corps Air Station Camp Pendleton. Use of this airspace requires special coordination prior to the event and requires aircraft to switch from long rifle safety to tower communications. The overflight rules for Camp Pendleton are as follows. Aircraft will avoid overflying the Naval Hospital, Base Housing, and the ASP. Helos must stay above 500 feet AGL and all fixed wing must stay above 1500 feet AGL. Please note that there is no overflight of the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station. All aircraft and personnel must be mindful of the environmental sensitive areas and for guidance please refer to Chapter 2 of Base Order P3500.1 November. For scheduling SIMCAST missions, the FAC-JTAC must be school trained but does not have to be a Camp Pendleton qualified FAC-JTAC. A FAC brief sheet and a SIMCAST overlay need to be submitted no later than 14 days prior to the event. For rotary wing SIMCASTs, your overlay should depict your routes of flight, the altitude of the aircraft, all HAs and BPs you intend to use, including any of your own that you make up for a particular mission, and all simulated target locations and FAC JTAC positions. The fixed wing overlay should include your routes of flight, block altitude, all IPs for egress and ingress, all aviation facilities, and lastly, the simulated target and FAC JTAC locations. Ensure that you have all elements listed on this slide included in your overlay. Be as specific as possible to portray an accurate picture of what you intend to do. All non-MAG-39 air crews and any MAG-39 units returning from deployment must receive an air range safety brief from the operations officer. Once this is completed, the unit will be listed in the compliance letter. Any flight that does not comply and is not on the compliance letter will be limited to transition only. All aircraft will check into Long Rifle using 310.3 or 123.2. Aircraft shall remain outside of all impact areas while awaiting clearance for entry. Range control will verify ordnance to be expended and all altitudes will be in AGL and not MSL. Once clearance is received, the aircraft will push to their assigned holding area to receive a hot range brief. A hot range brief will verify that the pilots have read and understand the R440 and R220 special instructions. They will verify the FAC call sign and then be directed to the FAC JTAC for the TACP mission to begin. At no time will any aircraft begin firing until the aircraft has entered the Aviation Ordnance Impact Delivery Area and the aircraft is cleared into the impact area by Long Rifle. At all times, the aircraft will monitor Long Rifle's frequency of 310.3 or 123.2.